Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for the month of April for the sign of Pisces. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that this is for the month of April. It may not resonate right at the moment you watch it, so keep that in mind. This is for somebody, not everybody. It may or may not be for you. Let's see what comes up for Pisces for April. We're going to get one of these. We're going to use that deck. And then we're going to end with the Angel Romance cards. So for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know for April? Destiny. Oh, boy. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Destiny. Good, good things are on the way. That's what this is. Good things are on the way. Something really good is coming. Change of course. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your destiny. Whatever is meant to be, it's coming. Okay, something good is coming. Pisces. What do we got for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Now, it looks like one chapter of your life is ending. We all know that that's what this is. You guys are starting something new. This is a love connection, right? It is. Unexpected love. Makes a lot of sense. So there's a destined love connection here. A deep connection. Destiny. Destined love. I mean, you can't make that. You can't make it up. I left out the bad word this time. Only because we're at the beginning of the video. <laughs> And there's these new root rules on YouTube about swearing at the beginning of a video. So, anyway. So, a couple minutes I'll be able to. But, anyway. Um, wow. That's all I can say. We have, a, we have a love connection here that is meant to be. That's exactly what that is. It's meant to be. It's exactly what you deserve, right? It's getting what you deserve where there's equal give and take. There's equal... Uh, equal um, effort being put in um, where you're, it's not one-sided. Ooh, there's something that's hidden here, though. I mean, that's your car, but, it, you know, it is upright, so there's something below the surface you not, might not be seeing. You may not be seeing the everything. There could be a level of confusion. There could be a level of fear. Maybe you're fearful of the unknown. Maybe that's what this is. There's a delay. There's something that is stalled here. There's some sort of delay. Now, this is a test. There's some sort of test. Maybe it's a test of love. The Knight of Coins, to me, is a test. Okay, so we have a test. And you may, I mean, it's reversed, so who knows. A test of your fear? Oh. Hmm. Ooh, Knight of Cups reversed. Yeah, a fear of it not being real, right? Ooh, yikes. Well, let's get some more cards. This is dishonesty. And this is deception as well. There's some sort of deception here. Some sort of mm, lie, perhaps. Somebody could be lying about a love connection, about their true feelings. I mean, I don't know. Something is hidden. The truth is hidden. The truth is hidden here. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Somebody's trapped. They've really uh, spun a good web, huh? Look at that web. It only gets worse and worse and worse and worse. You have to break free from your own mentality. You got to face your fears. 
to let love blossom, to let love in. So I really feel as though somebody is keeping themselves trapped. It's like they're guarding their heart, not expressing their true feelings. Ah, we have the Queen of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about confidence, having the courage to transition, to move in a new direction. You know, this is to find balance and harmony in your life. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to be confident. And you're going to have to find that force within you to communicate your truth to get what you deserve. So somebody needs to communicate and they're not. They're not. So I don't know who this is for, but... Um, there's definitely a lack of communication and there's lack of movement because we all know the knights are action oriented. It's action being taken. Both of these knights are reversed. Somebody's not taking action. They feel the love connection. The love is there, okay? The love is there. It's 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 deep. There's a deep love connection here. It's meant to be. It is meant to be. And and there's an opportunity to, you know, get the love that you deserve. But you're going to have to face your fears and really communicate, Pisces. And, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the way it goes. I mean, I'm not going to pretend that anything here. And, you know, th th we have a lot of sixes. Okay. Six, 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 six. You know, people say six, six, six is a devil number. Could be, you know, they say it's a devil number, right? Because devil is ruled by ego. The devil is ruled and fueled by ego. So you have the opportunity to, you know, remove yourself from your ego or whatever and reevaluate your life and journey to balance and harmony. But you have to you have to pedal, you have to you have to paddle, not pedal, but same thing. You know, you have to drive, you have to you have to do it. So I you have to give to the situation if you want success, you know what I mean? So I really feel as though you have an opportunity to bring balance and harmony and love to your life. You really do. But you got to take action. And it's like n nobody's taking, you're not taking action. You're not taking action. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, because I would say this is you and probably this is them. Could be a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be another water sign. Could be a Gemini. Could be anybody. Um, this is Gemini. Anyhow, it looks as though this is an opportunity to reevaluate the next chapter in your life, to, to, to reevaluate your past, to reevaluate where you're going, you know, to, you know, break free from your own thoughts. Oh, my goodness gracious. Sorry, let me make sure that is shut off. I apologize. <clears throat> Whew. Anyway, there's an opportunity for stability, okay? There is with the Ten of Pentacles. This is, it looks like you have an opportunity to build something. I mean, this is a legacy to build something, to build something stable and solid. You do. You do have an opportunity for stability extreme security you know this is a, a family even um, but you're gonna have to find the courage and the confidence and the strength to speak up really 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 speak up about your true feelings um, but overall I feel like you guys are gonna get to a better place this is the overall energy it is you're moving forward you're heading in the right direction so congratulations you are heading in the dark I can't speak the, the right direction you are headed in the right direction Ooh, there's that Queen of Cups again that could be you that could be you you know following your heart um, following your intuition, you know, really listening to your intuition. Um, you may be feeling really emotional during this time. Um, maybe you're really at ease with the, with the transition that's going on in your life. Maybe you're just going with it. You're going with the flow. You're not fighting it. Maybe, maybe you're to the point, maybe you're, maybe you are so much at ease with who you are that, you don't want to take action. Maybe you're healing. Maybe you're healing yourself. Maybe you're loving yourself at this time. I don't know. Queen of 
Queen of Swords. Ooh, he. Yeah, we got we got some opposition here. Some of you may have a choice between two. That's that's absolutely the case. I mean, this is generally a a choice between two, and now we have these two people. We have three. You may have a choice between more than one person. Pisces, you may have a choice between more than one person, and now you have to make a logical, practical decision. You know, and you also need to choose between, you know, your mind and your heart. Your, your, you know, it's that brain versus heart. Your mind and your heart, with, because this is this is mind versus heart. You know, are you letting your your thoughts get the best of you? Are you being practical? Are you being logical here? Are you choosing? Um, your direction for the right reasons. Maybe you need to bring, maybe you need to be able to balance the two. You know, this is balance, the six of coins, balance heart with, with mind, okay? So I, I, and this, I really feel as though you guys are going to have to make some sort of decision as to whether. You can follow your heart or not. Four of Wands is an opportunity for a lot of happiness here. A lot of happy, a commitment could lead to marriage with somebody. It could. I mean, with the Four of Wands right next to the Ten of Coins, it looks like you're moving towards happiness and commitment, Pisces. But you have to, you have to take action, and there's lack of action. There's like a stalemate here, and fear is in the way. Fear is absolutely in the way. Fear is in the way of your destiny. That sucks. It does suck. But you are headed towards it. Either way, you are headed towards happiness. You are headed towards... Uh, Abundance, some sort of commitment here. But you are stuck. Ain't that, that the truth? I mean, there you are, not knowing, confused. Maybe you're trying to prove something still. I mean, this is trying to prove something. Maybe you got, you know, you're trying to prove something to who knows who, somebody. But this is sacrificing yourself needlessly, you know. There's no need to. There's no need to to be in the state of mind that you're in. You can step down and free yourself at any time. I feel as though you guys have been resisting change. You have been limiting yourself. It's time to let go. It's time to have a new outlook. It's time for a new perspective. It's time to stop staying where you've been. Okay, I can see your confusion. It's it's clear. It's very, very clear that you guys are stuck. And it's like, it's time. It's time to let go. It's time. It's time to break free from that old mentality. This is lack of communication. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords. It's lack of truthful communication. <clears throat> I feel like you guys have been trying to prove something, perhaps by not communicating with somebody or something like that. Oh, we got two cards. You ready for them? They're big cards. They're major. It's time for a transformation. It's time for a change. It's time. It's time. The time is now. It's time for your new beginning. And that is exactly what this is, okay? It is time for your new beginning. It's time to release. It's time to stop holding on to your old ways. It's time to stop letting your mind get the best of you. And it's time to follow your heart. This is the time is now. The time is now. This is, um, it's time to bring balance and harmony back to your life. It's time to face your fears. I feel as though you're not the same person that you used to be. You don't have anything to prove. It's time to begin again. It's time to get what you deserve. It is. You have a new beginning in front of you. A big one. A big, 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 big one.
you now have an opportunity to bring balance and harmony back to your life. With the sixes and the temperance card, you have the opportunity right now. And it's a time, it's a time of destined change for you. This is this is change, this is change, this is change, destined change that could bring you together with your perfect match. My advice is to follow your heart and stop trying to prove yourself. Let your heart lead the way. New life, new beginning, new beginning here. Big one, big, 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 big one. Um, the time is, it's time. It is time. It's time for your renewal. It's time. It's time for you to get what you deserve. It's time for you to be in love, really. I mean, come on now. That's what this is. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Yay, it is. I agree with that statement. It is. Oh, and yes, this is true as well. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, and that is clear, very clear. Somebody is letting their thoughts and their mind and their fears get in the way, and that is the ultimate deception when I mean, you can't follow your heart and let love in. So, I feel as though you have an opportunity for love here, Pisces. I hate to show you this card, but... I kind of need to. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So, you know, you got you to be honest with yourself here. If somebody has not been. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be mad at me for telling you that because you still want to deny. That's whatever. You know, I don't care if you deny it. That's your own life. It's nothing to me. There's an opportunity for love here. But honesty and communication is key. And following your heart is number one, not number two. It's time. With the temperance and the death card, it's time. It's time for your rebirth. It's time to start over. It's time for you to get what you deserve. This could be... I don't know. Could be anybody. You decide. Good luck. Be prepared, Pisces, for big change. Positive change is coming. Something good is coming for you. Trust me. It is. It's perfect. I mean, it's a deep, 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 deep connection. It really is. But if you deny it, that's your loss. Good luck.